Hey, I'm Sandy Reese, Chief Encouragement Officer at Get Fully Funded, where we show small nonprofits how to raise money. <laughs> and there's a cattail behind my shoulder. I am on my front porch this afternoon. Uh, I wanted to show you something that I think uh, is really interesting insight into how nonprofits grow. Uh, and there's probably going to be a kitty cat or two that come through here. That's Cosmo or Cosmo's tail. All right, I want you to see over my shoulder. Oh, there's Ginger. See that pot right there, that brown pot? It's kind of empty. Okay, then see this one over my shoulder over here. It has really pretty pink Gerbera daisies in it. All right, so let me do this. You can see both pots at the same time. All right, oh, and there's my cat Ginger sitting out there on the sidewalk. We have a lot of cats. <laughs> All right, so these two pots were planted at the same time uh, late spring. I like Gerberas. I like having a lot of flowers on the porch. So planted these at the same time and you can see one of them is really pretty and it's still blooming and the other one is dead, gone. Okay, what happened if I took two identical pots and they both had the same dirt in them and I planted them at the same time and they've both gotten roughly the same sun, the same water, what happened? Why, why did that happen? Well, I have a feeling if we dug into that pot right there we would find that the the dirt is all like clumped up and I have a feeling there may be some old roots from old plots in there and the water is just not draining well. I did notice earlier in the summer that when it would rain and the rain would come in that um, that pot was not really draining like it should. So I have a feeling that there was just something wrong on the inside. There was something in the foundation of how that pot was put together that was just keeping that flower from being successful. This one was obviously draining properly. Obviously this one's got a good environment for growth. This one did not. So what in the world does all of that have to do with fundraising? Well, I think that you can take two identical organizations or two organizations that maybe not identical, but they're started at the same time. They have the same opportunities for growth, the same kind of leadership, and one of them flourishes and the other one does not. That's Cricky. <laughs> You've now met three of my cats. <laughs> so you get these two organizations, and one of them grows really big and strong and becomes the biggest nonprofit in town, and the other one either just barely squeaks along or it dies. And the unfortunate truth is that a lot of nonprofits die every year. So what makes the difference? I think an awful lot of it has to do with infrastructure. It has to do with uh, the systems that are put in place, the um, the priorities of the organization, the board of the organization. And I think if you don't get the right structure in place, your new nonprofit is not going to grow. You want it to grow like that and bloom and be beautiful, but if you don't have the right systems in place, if you don't, if you try to skip too fast over things and you think, whatever, we can track all our expenses in Excel. We don't need a, we don't need software. We don't, we don't really need to pay attention to the books. Well, actually that's going to cause a lot of problems later. Uh, we've seen lots of organizations that have those problems. They come to, they call us all the time and say, help us. It's really hard to try to raise money if you don't have everything in place. If you don't have your systems in place, if you can't pull data uh, about how many folks you've helped, if you don't have any idea how much it costs you to provide a unit of service, that's going to be a big problem. So you need to put the infrastructure in place. You need to get all those pieces um, lined up and ready and working so that your nonprofit has that solid base to grow on. Without the solid base, you're going to have a lot of problems. If you don't have a structure for how you're going to keep up with donor information and thank donors well, then it doesn't matter what you do to raise money, you're going to struggle. So, what pieces of infrastructure do you need to put in place? What, what needs to be focused on and shored up so that you have the best chance of blooming like that pretty Gerbera over there. You can get more tips just like this. We share these videos every week. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so that you can get first notification when we share more video tips. Uh, you can also pick up information on our blog at getfullyfunded.com slash blog. So get fully funded tv.com gets you to our YouTube channel or getfullyfunded.com slash blog. See you next time. Bye.